Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Let's do a greedier run as Judas. Let's see how this goes. Uh, hopefully it will go better than yesterday's Apollyon greedier run. Uh, sure. I mean, we don't really have a, a way to reroll, so... We kind of have to take what we can get. The upside to Judas over other characters is that uh, we have good damage to begin with. <laughs> so that helps a lot. I would love to get Lump of Coal. That's a very good sort of damage uh, bit. Also, the other upside to Judas is that you actually start with a little bit of money. I think you start with three cents and we found two more. So I guess we'll just go and start fighting enemies. Having Book of Belial is also great. It means we'll actually be able to get through these waves. Like, I think Judas is one of the stronger greed mode characters. At least in my opinion. The only thing you really need is HP. Uh, and obviously you want to get some Rate of Fire and stuff like that too, but... Um, like, as long as you can get some HP early on, you're usually going to be pretty okay. There we go, just clear those out. I mean, the fact that we're getting through these waves without, uh, you know, struggling to, like, without more waves spawning before we're done speaks kind of volumes to how good Judas is <laughs> compared to some of the other characters we faced. Uh, we've had a couple of an rather annoying enemies on this particular wave, but I think we can still, look at that, still like four seconds to spare. Even dealing with annoying champion enemies that uh, reflect your shots back at you. Which is like... That's a pretty big time loss, usually. Because uh, they just kind of come, you know... It gets to a point where like, oh, okay. Now the downside is uh, we're one hit from death. Which is obviously not good. Uh, but we've cleared all the waves and we're still in one piece. So can't really complain too much. Uh, let's buy a key. Go take a peek at what we got over here. Depression. It's uh, less than ideal, but it's an item. And then I think we'll buy a three cent heart. And uh, let's fight these waves as well. So we got a monstro. Shouldn't be a big deal. We'll make sure we save uh, Book of Belial here. And we're going to go ahead and fight the deal wave right away as well. Even if we don't actually intend to take the deal, we should still at least look at it because, you know, it could just be one of those deals that's pretty common in greed mode where it's just like some black hearts on the ground or something like that. That's a pretty common... Okay, that's a little scary. But we've made it. Or we could skip the deal and do uh, just... Ooh, hi. There's a pin. Careful. We're going to make it. We're, we're fine. Okay, we've done it. Uh, do we go in? I think we go in. Let's just take a peek. Okay, so I think we can take... No, we can't. Okay. Can't take the pact. Otherwise, you would take the pact and get some HP back, but that's fine. Uh, I'm going to buy a lump of coal here. That's a great item. Add some additional damage. And then we're just headed on to the next floor. Like, all in all, pretty good. Didn't really get any great items, but the floor itself went uh, pretty smoothly. So let's see. We'd love to get a tiers upgrade. Um, let's buy a key. First and foremost, so we can see what we get in these items. Uh, sure. This is fine. Eh, that's less than ideal. It's kind of a do-nothing item. Okay. Either way, let's start fighting some waves. Okay, we got one. There we go. And with Lump of Coal, the farther away we are from our enemies, the more damage they will take. Which is why Lump of Coal is a good item. Because even when you're, like, fairly close, you're still getting a damage bonus of some sort. And I think it's, like, an extra six damage if you're, like, really far away. That's a scary little place to stand. Oh, man. <laughs> Can we not spawn directly? <laughs> Can you, like, have the enemies not spawn when they're surrounding me? I don't, I don't appreciate that very much. Uh, but we're still making it through without any real problems. So, you know, all is well. Just need to not get hit by the champion, because one hit from a champion will kill you. 
because a champion enemy does a full heart of damage rather than just a single heart. And since we only have a single heart, uh, that would be bad. All right, there we go. Grab all this. Uh, did we use Lump of Coal? Yes, we did, because our damage is eight. Let's just might as well fight these enemies right away. No sense in waiting. Let's just fight the bosses immediately. Um, we're probably going to get stuck here fighting another boss on top of these guys, but thankfully Duke of Flies is not particularly annoying. And Double Pin isn't all that bad either, honestly. It's annoying having to fight four bosses, but as far as the bosses go, like, Pin's pretty easy. So there we go. Take all this. Fight the Deal Wave. Uh, okay, this is probably the hardest boss type wave that we've fought so far. Pretty easily, honestly. Ooh, that was close. Alright, they're all dead. Let's deal with Peep. If we can. Almost got hit by his little... Yep, those shots. Okay. I don't get hit. We're fine. We're fine. Get far away. So I have time to actually dodge. There we go. Made it through. Went through the whole floor without getting hit. Gotta love it. And uh, again, two items that do nothing for us. So we're out. Uh, what do we got up here? I think we buy a tears upgrade. And I think that's about it. I mean, we could buy a fanny pack, but eh. The idea is to not get hit. So I'd prefer to just uh, go without it. And we're on to the next floor. So far, so good. Uh, still haven't gotten any HP, which is a little scary. Birthright. No effect on Judas, it says. Uh, that's supposed to be added to the game later, I guess? Or something? I don't know. Hey! HP. Okay. That's good. Um, buy a key. Okay. Mom's contact is fine. Don't get hit by those. Or mom's eyeshadow is not great. It just charms enemies sometimes. Pop book a while to give us some damage. And uh, now we just start killing things. As we do. Okay, temperance card. Probably not going to be relevant for us. Because uh, we don't want to give away our HP. There's not really a good way to get it back in greed mode. Like, you're not going to find red hearts for the most part just sitting around. Now, like, if we go onto a floor and there's a bunch of red hearts, like, in the shop or something. Uh, not for purchase, but, like, just in general. You know, maybe then we can uh, consider popping down the temperance card and just playing a little bit. Like, at the end of the floor or something. But for the most part, we're not really going to be getting a whole lot of value out of this temperance card, probably. It's just kind of going to be there. Okay. Oh, this is a little scary. There's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, we got hit. It's fine. I mean, all things considered, that still went pretty well. Let's get the money. And we got an Envy. Is it just the one? Yep, just the one Envy. Okay, that's not too bad. Especially if we can take out the little guys fairly easily. We are going to have another boss. Okay, Monstro 2. That's important to know because he can shoot brimstone lasers, as you just saw. So we got to stay... Hey, don't stand there, you fool. All right, we, we did get hit. We're uh, one hit from death, so we're probably going to have to buy a red heart, which always feels bad. We just... Oh, <laughs> so close. All right, let's try again. It's, it's fine. It's okay. All right. Uh, Roid Rage. It's a pretty decent speed upgrade. What do we got in here? Just garbage. Um, you know what? It's greedier mode. Let's let's do a little rerolling until we get. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Just give me something in the first item room that's actually like a little bit better than a speed upgrade. Um. Nothing great here either, but it's fine. I mean, we got a tiers upgrade and our damage is fine thanks to Book of Belial, so, like, it's okay. You know, you can kind of make almost anything work with Judas as long as you get uh, some HP. And, like, that last run, we just didn't get any. 
I think maybe there was a spirit heart for sale at one point somewhere in one of the shops, but you really don't want to necessarily spend your money on spirit hearts if you can avoid it. You'd prefer to buy, like, items that have an upside that also give you HP. Stuff like the Halo or um, Stigmata, you know, stuff like that. There's, like, HP upgrade, but also more damage or whatever. Like, that's kind of what you want to do in greed mode. Just to spend your money efficiently. And then, like, at the end, when you're about to go fight the final boss, then you're like, okay, Spirit Hearts. Now I just dump, like, all my extra money into that. We don't care about having money left over to donate to the greed mission. Ooh, I bumped my microphone. Yep, yep, okay. Thank you, game. That was a microphone. Uh, all right, so that almost got us killed. But we lived, at least for the time being. Hey, Kate. Okay. But now we're one hit from death, which is uh, just never good. It's fine. I think the damage we took was from stepping on the button. Did we step on the button? I don't think we did. I mean, whatever. It doesn't really matter. All right, we got a Steven. I mean, maybe we should have. Yeah, that was just dumb. Why would you do that, Self? That was not where to go. Okay, I blame my microphone for that one. Um, sure. It's HP. Which is kind of, like, important as Judas. Okay, and we got a champion belt in here, which is also damaged. So, yeah, I think this is fine. We can make this work. Let's just shoot all the poops real quick. Look for a little extra money if there is any. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's go fight some enemies here. There we go. Kill the champion. Oh, there's some up here too. Okay. There we go. Yellow flies, no problem. When they die in one hit is not a big deal. Anything that dies in one hit, pretty easy to deal with. Yo, can you not spawn the enemies right on top of me? It's just very rude. Okay. One more. There we go. It's like no matter where on the map I stand, it's like, hey, let's spawn an enemy right next to you immediately. This is kind of the biggest, like, issue, I think, with greed mode. That and it's just not, like, super fun, but... You know, it's one of those modes that, like, you do it, you finish it, and then you're happy to have it done, and you never have to do it again. You know? Um, yeah, I think we just fight the bosses right away. Do we fight the deal boss as well? Yeah, I think we probably do. We do have a couple of, uh, red hearts. So we could potentially trade some away? Wow. Wow. That's just, uh, very rough. Okay, get rid of the additional enemies first, the little guys. Then we can worry about the rest. Uh, we gotta finish off Monstro here. Okay, there we go. Now we're just fighting one boss. It's a fair fight. Now we should be able to deal with this. If we can get you, like, wedged up against the side of the wall, or against the wall there. There we go. Beautiful. And yeah, let's fight the boss right away, too. Hey, what the speed? Did you see the speed that he charged? That was ridiculous. Thankfully, we're not dead because we had that HP upgrade. Because this is also a champion boss, so he also does double damage. There's, there's the charge. This one only charges a single time, but his charge is at, like, light speed. All right, there we go. All right, what's in our deal? Um, nothing we can do. No, like, nothing we can take here. So, you know what? We probably should just, like, try to do deals with the angel as Judas. That's probably the smart thing to do. Let's buy champion belt. Buy that. Grab the half heart over here. <clears throat> Item room gives us telepathy for dummies, which uh, is pretty useless, but at least it contributes to bookworm. And then we're just moving on to the next floor. 
with uh, a little bit of extra damage. So, you know, all things considered, could be worse. At least we found something in there. Like, we got two decent items. Uh, that's not really a great item. Range upgrade, eh, not really what we need. Uh, not really much here we care about either. This is a pretty bad floor, it looks like. Uh, there is a reroll machine, but, like, you really don't want to spend your money that way if you can possibly avoid it. Uh, and I just realized I did have five cents left over, which we could have bought a key with, but I realized it after I'd already popped Bookable Isles, so we'll buy the key after we fight all the waves, I guess. And thankfully, there's more red hearts in the shop, just lying on the ground, so we won't have to, uh, we'll be able to get back up to pretty much full HP. We don't want to step on the button, because then we lose uh, a little bit of money, and also we have to take damage in order to step on the button, which is not an efficient use of our HP. Better off just clearing the regular waves, and then we'll worry about uh, the other stuff. Get rid of these! That was really close. Almost walked straight into that. But it's fine. Okay, you're dead. You're dead. There we go. Now we got what? Some mushroom boys? These are very... No Self, you should probably pay a little more attention. So as not to get killed. Okay, there we go. Thankfully, that's the last one. So, okay, buy a key. Pick up a half red heart. I don't want to buy the red heart if I can possibly avoid it. What do we got in here? Yo! Okay, just kidding. This floor is actually great. Cricket's head is one of the best items in the game. It is a massive damage increase. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're good. Uh, you, you can't complain. We just picked up Cricket's head, so... Yeah, now it's all just basically, uh, what do we need? Tears and HP. Uh, and there is actually an HP upgrade in the shop that I might, I might actually just buy it. Um, I don't know. We'll see. It's not really the best way to spend your money, but then again, it would prevent us from these situations where we're like, okay, one more hit and we're dead. One more hit and we're dead. That keep happening to us. Fight the boss wave. Ooh, this is not what I'm hoping for when I see bosses. Like, yes, we have a lot of damage, but also these guys are really hard to avoid. Because they jump really fast. And if you hold still for too long, uh, they'll just kill you. And uh, also they shoot that annoying, like, spider goop that slows you way down. So... I think we probably will buy the HP upgrade. Because um, we'd have to spend money on health anyway, and buying the HP upgrade will help us restore some of that. Ooh. Okay. Um, that's an interesting one. So, Holy Mantle will allow us to get hit once for free. However, in, this is normally the item that I would pick, like, without a second thought. The thing is, it's not actually that good in greed mode. Because you essentially do the entire floor in, like, one go. So it essentially allows you to not get hit once per floor, which, like, just isn't that great. Um, oop, wrong button. Eden's soul would replace Book of Belial, uh, but would give us two random items. But you have to charge it up. It doesn't come pre-charged. So I think the pick here is Book of Virtues. And that also gives us the Bookworm transformation. Uh, and now whenever we use Book of Belial, we'll get little wisps. And then here, I think we just buy lunch. Like, H you don't want to necessarily buy HP if you can avoid it, but we would have had to spend three cents on a red heart anyway. So at that point, why not just spend all of your... Uh, why not just buy a, an HP upgrade? You know? That just seems better. And then we're on to the next floor. Like, all things considered, this run is pretty good. We've got Cricket's Head. Uh, we're still a bit, a bit lacking in the HP department, but it could be a lot worse. Getting a Tears upgrade here is fantastic. That's exactly what we need. More of those would be good. 
That's like probably the number one thing we need is just tiers upgrades. Um, and I think here you just buy a key. Pop into here. What do we got? Uh, sticky bombs. Okay. Well, it's not great, but it is bombs and bombs are useful. Like we can drop one here and potentially get nothing, I guess. <laughs> really hoping to get at least five cents there, but uh, it's fine. So pop this. And now we just start fighting enemies and hopefully not dying to them. Uh, we actually do want to use Book of Belial now, pretty much whenever it's available, so we can get Wisps. And I think the plan is basically we're going to use Book of Belial until the boss wave. And then uh, once the boss wave comes, we're going to not use it to make sure that we're fully charged and we go down to the next floor. Because it's not just about the damage bonus, it's also about the Wisps. And the Wisps can protect us, too. It's not just uh, damage that they give us. They shoot. They, they, they're they like the meme. They protect, but they also attack. All right? <laughs> they're little Wispy boys. Okay, you're dead. And we're just going to do, like, the whole thing in one go. So let's fight the boss right away. Ow. Rude. Very rude. Okay, you're dead. Hey, thanks for spawning right on top of me. Pretty much, anyway. But you're also dead. And deal wave. Okay, we got an a we got the easy angel, not the hard one. You love that. So as far as deal waves go, pretty easy. Okay, and another deal with the angel. Very good. Ooh, okay, so uh, obviously you take the Spirit Heart, and then we could do Active Contrition, which is a Tears Up, plus it gives me an Eternal Heart, which means it's also an HP upgrade, or we can go Sensor. I think uh, Active Contrition is definitely the way to go here. Gives us an Eternal Heart, so we get more HP for the next floor. Also gives us a Tears Upgrade, so we shoot faster. Like, that's just kind of everything we want. Uh, and then I think we just move on. I don't think there's anything else we want to spend money on on this floor. I wouldn't mind dumping a bunch of cash into spirit hearts if we got the opportunity. I would be completely okay with that. Uh, or raw liver. That's two HP upgrades, which is pretty significant, honestly. Like That's a lot of HP. Uh, these are all kind of terrible, but all right. Okay, more HP. I'm good with it. Do we want to spend money? Do we want to spend 15 cents on raw liver? I mean, that seems kind of bad, but then, then again, like at the same time, all this run is crazy strong. All we need is HP. So I think I'm going to do it as, as sort of counterintuitive as that sounds. I think that's the way to go. And I'm going to spend a bomb right here as well to get access to this chest. Yeah, I'd say that was worth it. Got a fair amount of money from that. And then, um, I think we just start fighting waves. Okay, get rid of the heart dudes first. Okay. And the waves are now coming. That's the other thing with greed mode. Uh, the, the later game waves spawn way faster than uh, the early game ones. Which is kind of dumb. It's like, oh yeah, you got three seconds to clear this wave. It's like, dude, I can't even get across to the other side of the room in three seconds. <laughs> Like, they spawn too quickly, in my opinion. But, thank I mean, the thing is, at the end of the day, we do have a ton of damage. And, like, a pretty decent rate of fire. So, like, all things considered, it could be worse. We have... Oh. The come-from-behind enemies. The ones that pop up right behind you and then smoke you. It's just not appreciated. Like, we've lost uh, quite a bit of HP here. And I feel like most of it was to that one champion dude that just dives below the ground and then is like, oh yeah, I'm going to pop up now and hit you. It's like, I don't appreciate that. Okay, you're dead. You're about to be. Okay. Next boss. Mm. 
Monstro 2 again. I will have my revenge this time. Although my HP is real bad. Like, we're down to 4 HP now. Which is uh, not great. But I suppose it could be, dude. Stupid champion, dude. Alright, you pop up and die this time. Alright, deal wave. Is it double? Double Mr. Fred. Okay, that's easy enough. I know we got hit, but... Like, all things considered, this dude's not that hard. It's kind of an annoying angle, but... Like, we just gotta hit him. And once we take out the top one, the bottom one will be way easier, because we'll have a safe spot where we can stand. There we go. There we go. Alright, and deal with the angel again. Okay. Uh, Eternal Heart, Holy Water. Could be worse. Uh, let's see what we got. Nothing really in here I care about. Red Hearts are always for sale. So I think we just head on down. Just move on to the next floor. And see if maybe we find, uh, you know, something a little better down there that changes how we want to purchase things. Because you can always buy red hearts. Yeah, like for example, right here, there's a spirit heart. You know? Maybe we don't need red hearts that bad because we got a spirit heart right here. Also, uh, let's check for a secret room and get a chest all at the same time. Hematemesis. Okay, that was pretty bad, but it's fine. That's glorious. Full health. Very glad I didn't buy a bunch of red hearts. Okay. Now, let's see. We did buy a key. Pop in here. We get Sad Onion as another tiers upgrade. That gets us up to the tiers cap. And then uh, we got more HP. So, like, yeah. We're good. Everything we need is right here. Now we just got to kill these dudes fast enough that uh, they don't kill us. So, we need to do this better than the last... These are actually awful enemies. Because they kind of come out of nowhere. These guys, though, more of them. They drop they drop money. I like it when enemies drop money for me. Thank you. Okay, there we go. I mean, we are kind of flying through. Yeah, we're going to get hit there. But thankfully, they did a ton of damage to Monstro for me. So. All right. Lots of flying enemies. Thankfully, they kind of exploded and took each other out. Like, I always appreciate it when the enemies do my work for me. It makes things much easier. Okay. Uh, and now I guess we just go fight the boss. Fight the boss waves. Why wait? Let's go. There's one. And two. These guys will also die pretty easily. They're just chilling down here. All right, you're also dead. Fight the deal waves. Okay, uh, so what we want to do is fight Envy last and take everyone else out first. That'll make this a thousand times easier. Is there anyone left? No, just Envy now. Okay. Very good. Another deal with the angel. We've gotten pretty lucky with deals with the angel, honestly. Just the fact that we're basically getting those all the time is, like, pretty sweet. Um, I mean, you know what? I'm going to buy Blood Clot here. Uh, I'm not going to buy any of this other stuff, though, I think. Yeah, I think I'll pass on the rest of it. And we'll head down to the next floor. Blood Cloud will give us a little bit more damage, which, you know, maybe it'll be useful. What do we got in here? Um, not much, honestly. What I would really like to find would be Spirit Hearts. And we don't care about having money to donate, so... Uh, let's just keep going. Just keep going. Uh, Stapler's probably worth buying as a damage upgrade. And that will give me spirit hearts. 
So let's just fight the waves now and we'll see how it goes. We'll see if we need to reroll for a, a bunch more spirit hearts or if the ones we get from uh, Mr. Dolly will be enough. Because I'm sure I'll get hit at least a little bit on this floor. The question is how much. And hopefully if we can just like not get hit that much, we'll be able to get by with just a couple of spirit hearts for Mr. Dolly and basically call it good. The thing is though, there's a lot of these dudes and they do a lot of damage. There's a lot of stuff to dodge. Okay, there we go, got him. We still have a couple of bombs as well that we can potentially use. I mean, the good news is we've unlocked everything there is to unlock from donating to the greed machine. So all we care about is actually defeating the boss, which means we can dump all of our money into defeating the boss, which is pretty good. We definitely want to make sure we have a, um, oh, hi. Uh, that's so many things. Okay. Uh, we definitely want to make sure we have a Book of Belial charge for when we fight the boss. Okay. And deal wave. That one explodes. Yeah, this is like not where we want to stand. There we go. Okay. Made it through. So yeah, the... the Spirit Hearts for Mr. Dolly will probably be enough. We get another deal with the angel. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I'll take a Sacred Heart. Sure. Let's get really absurd. Why not? Uh, and then give me Mr. Dolly, which is actually relevant again now. Uh, didn't get any Spirit Hearts, unfortunately, but, like, that's okay. Um, yeah, we'll take a meat. We still have, like, a bit of money left, so... You know what? We don't need anything else. This is enough. We're at basically full HP. We got a full charge. Who cares? We got a Sacred Heart. Like, if we lose this run, then Greedier Mode is absurdly ridiculous. Like, have you noticed we have Cricket's Head and Sacred Heart? <laughs> Alright, Papa Kabalile for even more damage. We now do 43 damage. So, Ultra Greed's gonna die real fast. Except boss armor is a thing, so it's not going to be like as it's not going to be as fast as it should, in my opinion. But we'll still be able to kill him fairly easily. And he's frozen, so like that's good. Kill the heart so he doesn't heal. He still heals a little bit, but holy water is honestly doing some good work for us by just freezing him in place. Don't get hit by that. Okay, I don't want you to heal, my dude. The good news is the little enemies we can basically one-shot. Okay, bombs is a bit of an issue, but not that bad. As long as we don't let them explode right next to us. Uh, also, just realized that we never actually got a speed upgrade at any point on this run. Which is probably part of the reason that we're a little slow, or we feel a little slow. But, like, we're still fine. We got everything else we wanted and then some, so... You'll get no complaints from me. This turned out to be a pretty solid run. And get rid of the keys. Alright, we didn't get rid of all the keys. But we got... I mean, the good news is our damage is good enough that these guys don't even matter. We can basically just kill them. And there we go. Phase one complete. Now we got to fight Ultra Greed. Ear. Who is basically just all about explosions. Like, his attacks all explode. He has bombs flying down from the sky and just, it's awful. The good news is he doesn't actually have that much HP. He just does a lot of really annoying attacks. But he has, like, probably half the HP of regular Greedier. 
uh, regular Ultra Greed, maybe even less than that. Like, you can see, we've already got him down to a third of his HP. Or maybe he just has, like, way less boss armor? I don't know. Either way, the trick is to basically not stand in the middle of the room and to try and go back from, like, corner to corner. Yep. You and your stupid explosions, my dude. Just die. There we go. And we've unlocked Eye of Belial, which is a pretty awesome uh, item, honestly. It's pretty good. It's a deal with the devil item. Um, basically gives you piercing shots, and then when your your shots actually do pierce through an enemy, they, get, they do double damage and they gain homing, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.